Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome back to the final episode of the Marlins franchise. That is right, we have reached the end, and we were going to be playing game number six of this World Series matchup between the Marlins and the Rangers. However, when I recorded game number six with my Elgato, it decided to crash all of a sudden and not record. So I was only able to capture the last part of the game, but thankfully it was the most exciting. So here we go. Bottom of the eighth, 0-1 count, one out, runner on first, no score. Jose Reyes is going to single into right field. That will move Trevor Cahill, the pitcher, the starting pitcher in this one, to second base. It's a pitcher's duel here. And now this is going to be Robinson Cano. He is going to hit this one deep to right field. It's going to be caught by the right fielder, but it's going to allow Trevor Cahill to tag up and go to third base, and he is safe. So now there's runners on first and second for the Marlins. They are going to walk. The Panda, Pablo Sandoval is being walked intentionally, so here we go, bottom of the eighth, base is loaded, two outs, and up to the plate is Buster Posey, here's the one-two pitch, and he's going to hit this one over the shortstop's head, it is going deep in the left center field, and that will score two runs, so the Marlins are up 2 nothing off of the two-run double, from Buster Posey. Now runners on second and third. And this is going to be a pass ball. And Sandoval will come in to score. The Marlins have taken a 3-0 lead. Now runners on first and third. Two outs. Freddie Freeman's going to hit this one deep to left center field. And it is going to drop. It's going to go off the wall. And that will send the runner all the way from first all the way home. And the runner from third all the way home. So now it is 5-0. The Marlins have come out and taken the lead, and they'll send Jason Mott out to close it out, trying to force a Game 7 here against the Texas Rangers. Here's the first pitch, and it is chopped right out in front. Here is Posey. He'll throw it to first. Got the out. Runner does advance to second. Now there's one out. Here's the 0-1 pitch, and this is hit deep to right field. Jay Bruce is back, and he makes the catch. Thank God there. Runner from second will tag up, and he will make it to third. Now there's runner on third with two outs. They're one out away from a game seven, and that is a base hit into right field. Bruce cannot do anything with that, and there goes the Marlins shutout. Now it is 5-1, but wait, it is popped up, and this might do it. Freeman makes the catch, and the Marlins have forced a game seven. This one will go the distance between the Marlins and the Rangers, as the Marlins come up with a huge bottom of the eighth inning. Five runs in the bottom of the eighth, and the Marlins win five to one. Trevor Cahill is your player of the game. Win a full eight innings and did not do anything to let that the Rangers team come back and score. So five one is the final here in Miami. Game number seven. Do or die. You win or your season is over and you don't win anything so here we go Marlins Park again a great opportunity to compare this with MLB 14 the show on the PS4 this is of course MLB 13 the show on the PS3 and this does look pretty good but if you see it on the PS4 I guarantee you on MLB 14 the show this looks a lot better so again game number seven here is the recap of the series so far Marlins did get the 1-0 lead, but then Texas came back 2-1 Texas. Marlins tied it up at 2-2. Texas got the 3-2 lead. Marlins just tied it up at 3 apiece. And now we'll go into game number 7 with Jacob Turner on the mound for the Miami Marlins. And for the Texas Rangers, it will be Yu Darvish, their ace. And they will be set to duel off here in Miami, Florida. It is the 2017 World Series between the Miami Marlins and the Texas Rangers. Let's do this. Here we go. Top of the first 3-2 count. Two outs for Jacob Turner. And that's a strikeout. 
Jacob Turner starting off strong with the strikeout there. And now we go to the bottom of the first. Mike Trout is going to get a base hit as he goes over the second baseman's head and falls into right field. So now Trout is on first. Actually, now he's on third. Turner's on first and third. And this is going to be Robinson Cano flying out to right field. But Trout is going to tag from third. He's got wheels and he will make it. So Mike Trout in the bottom of the first will get Miami up 1-0. And this is a very, very bad idea as that is Jacob Turner giving up the hit. And that is going to be a double now for the Rangers as they have a runner on second. So Jacob Turner not doing what he wanted to do and that's going to be Andy Dirks getting that one. So here is the 1-2 pitch and that is Hunter Pence getting struck out. Ring him up as Jacob Turner has yet another strikeout. Now with two outs, one-two pitch is another strikeout. Jacob Turner, after allowing the double, heats right back up and gets him out of the inning. And uh-oh, this ball is hit deep to left field. And that is going to be a nice catch by Justin Upton, holding the runner at first and getting the batter out. Now later in the game, it is the bottom of the third. And this ball is hit to left center field. And it is gone that is such a nice home run the Marlins needed it they were up one nothing but now they're up by just a bit more it is now two nothing off of that home run and that is a nice job there by Mike Trout getting that one to go deep and the Rangers are digging themselves into a hole early here as now the Marlins have a two nothing lead and that is gonna be Mike Trout getting the home run there nice job by him Runner on second now, bottom the third, 3-2 count, and this is going to be trouble here for the Rangers as that ball drops and goes off the wall, and one run will score, and that will be now a 3-0 lead for the Marlins. And now you Darvish is going to have a bit of a talking to from the manager, and now they will go ahead and keep him in, but let's see what he can do now as he got kept in. So here we go, bottom of the third, two outs, Justin Upton hits this one to center field. The center fielder's going back, and he is going to watch it leave the park. Justin Upton sends out a two-run shot, and the Marlins are up 5-0 in game number seven. Justin Upton comes up clutch and hits that ball to the deepest part of the park and hits that one a massive 423 feet that ball is gone and the Marlins are up 5-0 top of the fifth 0-2 count with one out and yes you guessed it another strikeout from Jacob Turner he is coming up clutch as well looking very good you see 11 balls 41 strikes 52 pitches total he is looking mighty strong a lot of strikes there and he is like I said coming up clutch now 1-2 pitch with two outs and this ball is popped up Freeman is underneath it and he makes the catch so that will do it for that inning and they will move on as you see here a look from Marlins Park again looks good but will look better on the PS4 I assure you Marlins in a good spot now top of the six 2-2 count and there's another strikeout from Jacob Turner he is striking out people left and right top of the seventh 0-2 pitch is going to be a check swing got him and that is yet another strikeout for Jacob Turner as they get Carter and they got another strikeout here, one after the other here in Marlins Park, and that will do it. Bottom of the seventh now, Pablo Sandoval up to bat with one out. He is going to launch this one into left center field. It goes off the wall. Pablo, as slow as he is, is going to make it into second base with a stand-up double. Marlins are in a very good position. Top of the eighth, 0-1 pitch is hit into right field, and Jay Bruce is going to watch this one leave the park. Uh-oh. And there go the Rangers getting a couple of runs there on the board. Actually, just one. That's a solo shot. And that will do it for Jacob Turner's bid at a shutout. And now the Marlins are up only four runs. And it is five to one. So the Rangers got what, you know, the Marlins didn't want them to get in some momentum. So to have some life, let's see what they can do with it. Turner on the mound, two outs, top of the eighth. And that is a chopped ball in front of Turner. He picks it up, throws to first. Freeman catches it, and that is it. We will move to the top of the ninth. Jason Mott trying to close it out. He has been their go-to closer all year. He just needs three outs for the Marlins to win the World 
series. Here's the first pitch. It is a strike, 95 mile an hour fastball, and that is an 0 1 count. And here's the next pitch. It is hit right to second base where Cano will flip over to Freeman. That is one out, two outs to go. The Marlins are two outs away from a World Series championship. And the next batter will hit this one, and it is fair into right field. And that is not good. He will advance over to second base, even with a good throw. It was very close. Nice throw by Bruce. But hold the celebration. They still need two more outs. And here is a ball hit right to first base. Freddie Freeman tags the bag. And they are one out away. Runner on third. And this is it. The Marlins can win the World Series with this pitch. And it is a strike. They have a pinch hitter here in Olt. Let's see what he can do. 0-1 pitch from Mott. It is hit over to Reyes. This could do it. And he... No! Hold the celebration as Freeman bobbles it on the terrible throw by the shortstop Jose Reyes. And that is not what he wanted to do there. So, unfortunately for the Marlins, it is now 7-2. Here comes Mott, though. A strikeout. He can do it now with a ground out, a pop out, or something. Here he goes, two outs, 0-1 pitch, top of the ninth. He is going to get another strike. 90 mile an hour cutter. And now, with an 0-2 count, Jason Mott to win the World Series for the Miami Marlins. Deals. And that is it. The Miami Marlins are World Series champions. They have fought and fought and fought. Years of disappointment. They make the playoffs and they come back after a 111 win season and take the World Series title in seven games against the Texas Rangers. All their hard work, all of our hard work pays off in the end and man does that taste great. Bringing in key players like Mike Trout, Robinson Cano and so many countless others that just came up clutch led the Marlins to where they are now. World Series champions. I'm happy to say that this is it. The final episode, the Marlins have won the World Series in seven games. This is it for MLB 13 The Show. We will continue with the Cubs franchise in MLB 14 The Show on the PS4. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're world champions. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, peace. Smoke.